In this lesson, we'll see the class named as instructor, and later we'll have link between student and instructor class. The main purpose of this lesson is not actually the development of instructor class, but we'll explore a simple but quite useful concept of enumeration class. Note that there is a built-in function named as enumerate that can be used to loop over an iterable and generate the automatic index. But we are not talking about that enumerate function, and instead it is about the enumeration class, which is totally a different concept. Let's first have a look at this instructor class, and then we'll add the enumeration class in the same program. The init method of instructor class takes three input arguments: first name, last name, and designation. Inside method on line number seven, an attribute courses is set to empty list. Later, we'll append the courses assigned to an instructor inside this list. Then we have wrap our method to properly represent an instructor. On line number two is the list of designations an instructor can have. These are professor, associate professor, AP for assistant professor, then lecturer, and then TF for teaching fellow. When an instructor is created, his designation must be from within this list. To ensure that, we should add getter and setter method for the designation attribute. We'll check the condition if new designation in setter method is actually available in designation list. And if not, we'll raise the value error. Now let's test it in main program and create an instructor as i1 and set its first name last name and designation as associate professor designation is a valid designation so if we run the code it will execute without any error one little issue here is that we need to remember all valid designations and if there is any little change like the space between associate and professor is missing this is going to generate the error or if we have lower p instead of upper again we'll get the error an enumeration class can help on this and has other benefits also let's create the enumeration class with name desig for designation a class will be enumeration class if it is inherited from a class named as enum we haven't studied the concept of class inheritance but we don't need much of that detail here the only thing you need to know at this stage is that we need to provide the parent class name inside the parentheses for the inherited class for enumeration class the parent class name is enum so we'll write that here this enum class is available in enum module so we must import that Now inside enumeration class we define members of the enumeration class members of enumeration class have names and values we'll set the names as different designations and values will be simple integers to start with the names of the members are like the variable names and follow those naming rules the values can be of any data type Let's first see how we can access different attributes of an enumeration class and then we'll use it in instructor class. Firstly note that the members of the enumeration class are actually the objects of that class. We can access those using the class name followed by a dot. And note that as I have typed PR I am getting the intelligence for professor and associate professor which I can easily select from there. Let's check the type of desig dot professor. and you will see that it is printed as object of enumeration class desig we can also test is instance on the class member
and it will print true. Next we can directly print an enumeration class member. Let's also test rep r on the member and this time it will print the complete detail of the member as its name and the value. We can access the name of any member using dot name. And we can access the value using dot value. The value of associate professor is true and it is printed as true. Another important attribute of an enumeration class is dunder members. It returns all members of the enumeration class as a dictionary having keys as member names and values as the values of those members. Finally, the enumeration class is also hashable. So we can pass in the member name as string and it will return the member object. We can use dot name or dot value with the member object in this format. I'll move this piece of code at the end of the program for reference and now we'll see how we can use this enumeration class in the instructor class. We do not need this list of designation. In init method we should now specify that the parameter desig will be from enumeration class desig using the colon notation. Remember that it is just a convention for better readability of the code and not a necessary requirement. Now inside setter method of desig attribute where previously we were checking if it is inside valid designation list, now we should check its membership inside the desig enumeration class by simply using the in operator. Now in main program, we'll specify the designation by typing in desig dot and we'll get the IntelliSense help for all attributes of the class from where we can select some designation for example associate professor. If we print the designation attribute of instructor, It is printed as desig object associate professor. But if we try to specify a designation as a string, for example lecturer, which is a valid member name, but it will generate an error because we cannot use in operator between a string and enumeration class. However, if we want to add this feature, that desig attribute may be passed as desig member or a string, we can update the setter method. We can check if the input designation is a desig class object. We'll get the name attribute of it, which is a string. If the input designation is already a string, we don't need to do anything. So on line number 23, new designation will be a string in both cases. So now we should check if it is present inside desig.members dictionary. Now if we run the code where designation lecturer is passed as string, it will work. And if we set it as desig class object, it will work again. Note that the value being assigned to underscore desig attribute on line number 24 is a string. So if we want it to be a desig enumeration class object, we can use the hashability feature and get the object by passing new desig as input of desig class and it will return the respective member. So now if we run the program, the output is desig class object as desig.associate professor. And if we pass it as string, the output will again be desig class object. We have seen one use of enumeration class where we get better coding help for setting some values. 
Now let's see another benefit of it. For that we will change the values of enumeration class members. Note that we assigned simple numbers as values. There is also another way to assign numbers as values and that is by using auto function. That auto function will automatically assign a different number to class members. You can explore that by yourself if interested. What I'll do here is that I'll assign meaningful values for the members as strings which will be the complete designation. Once done that, in getter method for designation attribute, on line number 18, instead of returning self dot underscore desig, which is the desig class member, I'll return the value of that class member or class object. Note that on line number 24 of setter method, desig class object is assigned to underscore desig attribute. And on line number 18, the value of that object is returned and not the object itself. So now if we run the code, you will see the complete name associate professor. The same will be case if we set the desig attribute as tf and the value returned will be complete name as teaching fellow. So in program we will be able to use short names as ap or tf and they will map to complete names as assistant professor for AP and teaching fellow for TF. Now you should get the idea about the situation where enumeration class can be helpful. One such case can be short names and the full names for months. For example, Jan, Feb and so on will be the names and January, February and so on will be the values. So we'll use short name for example Jan in our program and that will map to the complete name as January. So that's all from this lesson. Thanks for watching.